Moving now to our third riddle. Huh? Why is the handwriting so... floaty? What's got no wings but flies in the air never gets tired of floating up there. So full of mora it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes. It's Paimon's. They picked Paimon's riddle. Yay! Uh, uh. <laughs> What is it? Why isn't anyone guessing? Is Paimon's riddle too hard? That's not quite it. More like, it's so ludicrously simple that we just cannot believe it. What? No way! Well, go on then, tell us the answer if you're so sure. The answer is Paimon. Uh, what? It's Paimon. I was actually going to say Paimon, too. Me, too. Uh, no! You're all completely wrong! <laughs> How the heck did you all think the answer was Paimon? Paimon, do you have wings behind your back? Uh, no. You're always floating, but you never seem to get tired of it. And Paimon has a very healthy appetite, which must cost the traveler a lot of mora and meal expenses. I've heard from the senior knights that the traveler rescued Paimon by fishing her out of the sea. So, that means Paimon can't swim. So if she fell in the sea, then... Uh... Glug, glug, glug. Wait, wait! Now Paimon's doubting herself! What was the answer again? <laughs> no! You're all wrong! The answer to Paimon's fail is obviously the Jade Chamber! You know, the Jade Chamber that's always flying up there in the sky? Is that so? Hmm... I still maintain that the riddle actually describes Paimon more accurately. In fact, if we just added two more lines to the poem, it would be the perfect riddle. The Traveler's Companion and Talkative Guide. A praiseworthy presence always by their side. Aww, do you mean it? Can we really add that part? <gasps> you think so cute! 